Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a minefield in Unity. By a minefield, I mean um, from the previous videos that I've made showing you how to make health in Unity, how to access other variables from other scripts, other functions from other scripts. We're going to get that um, all the knowledge that I showed you, all the scripting knowledge that you know now, we're going to make it into a really nice functionality and a cool one that can have a big, um, I guess, function in your game. So this is how it looks. Um, so basically, you walk um, to the minefield. It explodes. It um, it plays an animation when it damages you. Um, you get it. You go a little bit behind. It makes this sort of um, fuzzy screen. I've also made a video on how to make this fuzzy screen. You can see it on the radiation zone video, I think. Um, before watching this, I recommend watching the radiation zone video the accessing other variables from other scripts video and the health, death and health regeneration in unity video all the links are going to be in the description i highly recommend you watch them because without them i don't really think that this is going to be um, very clear for you because some of the things that you might not be familiar with some of the phrases and some of the variables i've called in the, in this video because they're from the previous videos so now um this happens when you die you have zero health you play the get hit animation, then you play the death animation, and you're dead. So basically, I think I've showed all of this in a previous video. I showed, I shown, God damn it. So I've shown all of this in previous videos. Um, so you, I highly recommend you watch them. This is just basically a, a wrap it all in a package sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So basically, um, the destroy on trigger this is the previous video that I made you can watch that as well um, I've modified it a bit to be sort of to have sort of a minefield effect so basically this uh, this part is the same I've added uh, I guess I think damage I had the effect the same radiation effect um, user script etc so the user script um, this actually you have to have using Unity standard assets that characters are third person because we're accessing the scripts from the third person character that we get from the standard assets. Now um, the radiation effect, uh, I think I've made that before. I'm not sure, but it's the effect that blinks, I guess, when we when we step on the minefield. The damage, it's the damage that our character gets when he loses HP. So on the start, I've shown this in a different video, so I'm just going to go quick about it. Basically, I'm stating that the user script is the script that's on our player and uh, the, the component that's on our player character that has the, the third person character component, I guess. So the user script is the component on our player character called third person character, which is the script that we have you have it as well if you're using the third person character. If you're using the first person one or something else, I guess you could put characters.firstperson and just change this to the first person character, I guess. So on trigger answer, um, when we, um, this is, this basically just says um, instantiate effect, this instantiates the effect, um, the explosion effect. If other dot game object dot tag equals player, I've shown this in a previous video as well, so I'm not gonna go um, in detail. If uh, it, this checks if it's the player that collided, and if it is, we want the user dot script dot health, so the health from the user script, which I've uh, shown you in a previous video. I think it's death and health regeneration in Unity. It might be. I I I'm just gonna put all the videos you should watch before this one and it's gonna be from there so basically I've made a health value and uh, Chuck this is this is not important uh, you should look at the health one so I made a public float health and um, the, um, so the I, I'm gonna when the health uh, gets to zero I die and if it just gets um, if it just gets moved a bit uh, I get the, I play the damage animation so I uh, user script dot health is user script dot health minus damage. So basically, it just takes the damage away from the current health that we have. User script dot damaged is true. So um, the this doesn't we don't really need this to be honest because I've changed this. I forgot to delete it, so we do not need this. Um, radiation effect dot set active true. 
so um, that just makes the radiation effect active and then we have user script dot get hit what is this you might ask so basically the way you access variables from other scripts is you state the user script which I stated over here then dot then the variable you want access well this is not a variable this is a function I've made a public function in a third person character um, script which is called public void get hit which just access the animator and uh, I've made a um, um, a trigger in my animator um, section called large react which um, the large react one let me show you I've made a large react one I've also made a couple of these more but the basically the ones you need to focus on is the large react one and the is dead one I think I've talked about the is dead one in health and regeneration video so basically you make a um, you make a you get the animation you want um, I don't know where my animations are basically get any animation you drag it up here it's gonna appear like this so let me just um, I don't know where to drag it to not be confusing for you guys so let me drag it here so standing this is the re this is the get hit get the damage animation so in any state if I get hit uh, it doesn't matter if I'm in the air, if I'm crouching, if I'm running or whatever. I want to play the animation if I get hit. So I made a trigger large react. If it is triggered, I'm going to play the animation. After that, I'm going to go to grounded. Or you could go back to any state. I just went to grounded, I guess. So it's going to go pr probably to idle, I guess. Um, I've set this to... I've made the animation be a bit smooth. Let me just... Uh, Go ahead and drag Naruto here so you can see him in the preview. So basically he's idling and then he gets hit. And uh, then I'm g I am had a has exit time and everything. It's the same I guess. I changed it a bit here but it's basically the same. So when the animation finishes I want him to go back to the um, idle state. So as you can see um, has exit time. I have put it to yes. And yeah so as you can see he gets hit and he goes back. Same I did for the death animation, so I've dragged another uh, animation called death animation when the health is below zero. I've also talked about that in the health and regeneration video. Um, I'm, I'm telling you guys about other videos that I made, not so, so you can go watch them, so it makes me benefit, you know, may I get more money or stuff. I don't even make money from this, but I just really need you guys to watch those videos so you understand what I'm talking about and how I set everything up so basically the um, death animation uh, it when is dead it goes to death animation but from if I get hit for example if the if the the explosion takes away 50 health but I have 20 health I don't want him to go to idle I want him to go to death animation so that's why I put is dead uh, the trigger the uh, actually this is a boolean so set bool um, so if is dead is true I get hit and then I just die because if it was if I haven't if I didn't put this I would go to when I died I would go to the idle animation then from the idle animation I would go uh, which is, idle animation goes into grounded and any state so I would go from I guess um, idle animation to death which would not be which isn't really what I want so yeah all right so if you understood that um, this is basically animator work. If you don't know, um, I basically just show you what to do. So drag an animation, make a trigger, call large react. Emphasis on the large react. Really, you gotta remember how you called it um, with the big capitals and everything. Make, a, I guess, from any state to it, then from it to grounded, and if you have a death animation, to the death animation. So, um, next thing. Um, yeah, so public void get hit. You want to put this in your third person character, um, in your player controller, whatever. So M animator, that's how it call. That's how it's called. My animator dot set trigger large react. So the now uh, we just stated what the function is. I haven't exactly um, called it yet, so it doesn't get called. But in my um, the explosion script. Um, it gets called after I um, enter the collider and it, it detects that it's the player. So use that script, get hit, the thing plays. So this is just for the animation. 
after that I'm going to destroy the game object because I don't want the minefield to stay there. So I enumerate, uh, this is just for the, um, um, the I guess, uh, the, um, the radiation effect because we don't want the irradiation effect to stay forever. So basically when you step on the minefield I have a vision, for example, my vision gets sort of distorted I guess, blurry, which is the effect that you saw before. And um, I want that to effect to be there for a couple of seconds and then disappear because I don't want it to stay there forever. So basically, I enumerator enumerator on trigger a enumerator makes uh, lets me um, um, uh, use the yield return new wait for seconds function because I do not want because if um, if I enter the trigger and then I immediately exit it because the the game object with the trigger explodes the mine. So I made it a numerator because after a few seconds, I stated six, the radiation effect dot set active is false. So after six seconds, the blurriness is going to disappear. You can change this value around. So basically, I think that's it. Um, I've shown you health. I've shown you everything. So this is basically wrapping everything around. If you have any troubles with this, you can ask me if you want. Basically, um, the radiation effect, we have it here. I, I, I shown all of this to you, but if, if you guys maybe remembered or made it somewhere else, I can show you here. So the radiation effect is basically a pain, plain, or that's right next to my, um, what's it called? It's right next to my uh, camera. It's a uh, plane, but I don't know why it's not showing because the, probably because, oh, it's not. All right, so this is the plane. And the transparency um, script, actually makes it like sort of blink uh, not blink but change it changes it changes its uh, opacity its transparency so um it disappears after a few seconds you step on this the minefield i have this egg mine um, model which i got online i'm gonna show you guys where i get all of my naruto models and everything but they're not rigged so you have to rig them so i might make a rigging tutorial and um the, I put it on object to destroy so it destroys this object um, you can even put the object to destroy because it's destroying this object instead of object to destroy you can put just game object so instead of this we can put for example um, game object dot transform here as well because we really we really um, don't have to state which one is it because it's basically this game object so this this should um, yeah uh, we need to delete this yeah so we don't even have to yeah all right um, so basically I just I'll, we need to put game object here there we go so basically I just changed the object to destroy to game object because I don't want it to why should I have more variables than I need so because I'm destroying this game object so this should um, disappear yep so the effect is the big bang um, I this this effect wait is this locked no uh, on this effect I've put a um, audio source so the explosion sound um, plays the radiation effect it's the radiation effect over here and yeah I guess I think that's it so basically you walk over here you get uh, you get hit your health regenerates or whatever you walk over here and uh, you die so it's a pretty cool effect if you have a lot of grass in your scene you can make it so the um, you put like secret mines in the grass and if you walk over them it explodes so um, yeah I guess um, that's that's it for this video. It's a bit longer, but I really wanted you guys to understand this video and to uh, be able to put this in your game because it's not exactly um, it's not exactly uh, one video type of uh, thing. But I wanted to wrap it up in one video so I don't extend it because I have basically I've told you about all the functions that you need and all the variables and the naming how I named them and everything I just hope you don't exactly copy my script because 
um, they, I want you guys to watch the video and try to implement it yourself because that way you're gonna learn something and you're gonna be familiar with your own work because you typed it not just copy pasted it there you get like 50 errors and you're like what because you don't have the same things set up as me and um, the same names as me so I really hope you do it by yourself I've been I've went really carefully about this video so you understand and I hope you do so thank you for watching I also want to thank you guys for 200 subscribers literally a week ago we've hit a hundred and this week we got a uh, 200 which is crazy I'm really glad you guys um, are interacting with me a lot because I get a lot of comments a lot of likes a lot of views and I really I'm really grateful for that so thank you guys and um, I'll see you next time bye